Darcy, are you telling me I can save thousands of dollars on creating my LLC? What? Hey, ambitious friends. I am so excited to have you here with me today. So before we do anything else, we have to do a self check-in. How are you doing today? Although we're running our businesses, we don't want our businesses running us. Now that you've let me know how you're doing, don't forget to mention your business and why you created it. I'm going to shout out some businesses in my future videos. And I'm also going to be creating a free PDF, start to finish how to create an LLC from scratch. So look for that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's important to get the word out there about common mistakes so that people don't make them. The first mistake that I see is people paying too much money to create and form their LLC. So there are two formation service companies that will create your LLC for free. It's Inc. Authority and Inc. File. They both create it for free, so zero dollars. And I personally, I prefer Ink Authority over Ink File. They include an S election form, business credit, and funding analysis for free versus Ink File. They have paid versions that will charge you for those additional features. But with Ink Authority, you can get that for free. And so in addition to paying so much money, to create your LLC, I've also seen people pay for an EIN. That's the employer identification number for your business. So it's like a social security card for your business and they pay upwards of $70 for that. In addition to a free EIN, you can get a free operating agreement template, banking resolution template, business contract templates, and a business plan template. So you don't have to pay money for all of those additional forms that you need to really get your business up and running. So you don't have to pay money to create it, to get an EIN to identify it, and for business documents after everything has been formed and created. So really, you can create an LLC for a limited amount of money, if not for free. And then going into common mistake number two. I see single member LLCs not opening up a business bank account. It's so important to open up a business bank account because you're separating your personal assets from your business assets. And so if you mix them up, then it's going to be very hard when it's time to file your taxes. In addition to that, the government isn't going to be able to clearly recognize what's your income versus your company's income, as well as your expenses versus your company's expenses. And so if the government is not able to clearly recognize that, then there's going to be a problem. And then even further, the government can say that you've pierced the corporate veil which means that you have been acting as your business and then your business is an alter ego of yourself. And so if they recognize you and saying that your business has pierced the corporate veil, then you will no longer have limited liability protection. They will consider your business assets as well as your business's debts your own. And so you might be held legally liable if something goes wrong within your business. So that's the common mistake number two that I see. And right now there's running really good promotions. So definitely check out the description below. But Chase is giving away a $300 bonus if you meet qualifications through them. And Bank America has a $500 bonus that you can get. And if you decide to create your LLC with Ink Authority or with Ink File, they have that $500 promotion already built in and they're offering it for a lot less of the qualifications than if you went to Bank of America directly. So open up a bank account, protect yourself, and get some free cash money, get that sub right there, that sign up bonus, so that you will create your LLC business and get some extra cash in the process. 
The third common mistake I see is not deducting all the taxable expenses that you can. And so you can deduct $5,000 for organizational costs and $5,000 for startup costs. And so organizational costs are costs associated with forming your business entity. So that can look like legal fees if you need to consult a lawyer. That can also look like filing fees if you have to file certain documents for forming your business outside of what you can file through a business formation service. And so those are additional fees that you can have taxable deductions for at the end of the year when you file your taxes. And then also as it relates to startup costs. And so startup costs are costs associated with your business before you actually have customers in the door. So startup costs can look like paying wages, site selection, selecting where you wanna have your business, marketing costs, advertising costs. Those are some costs that are associated with starting up your business. And so you have organizational costs and startup costs that you can deduct from your taxes. And the fourth mistake that I see single member LLCs make is not applying for grants. And so grants is free money given out to you to support your business, whether that's paying workers or that is running your business and the operations overall to get it running and to get it running properly. And so typically grants are either public or private. They're gonna be provided by the government typically or by corporations. And so there's pros and cons to going with either type of grant, but they're out there and they're available to you. You can definitely check out the video above to look at grants you need to apply for right now. Because if you don't apply for them, they're gonna go by quickly. And so what's really good about grants is that they're free money, but you do have to jump on them quickly or somebody else will get that money. And so there's a lot of grants available out there to help you support and run your business because you are not in this alone, even though you might have a single member LLC. I'm here to support you. The community I'm creating is here to support you. So I hope that you run your business so great so well. If you have questions, don't forget to check out Ask Darcy in the description below and ask me any questions that you may have. Don't forget to check out some of my videos. Peace, stay building, bye.